Going into space has never been easier, more thrilling, or more accessible than it is today. Gone are the days when only elite astronauts could experience the wonders of space. No more cramped Apollo capsules packed with endless switches, dials, and meters. Instead, space travel has evolved into a smooth, exhilarating journey unlike anything before. And at the heart of this revolution? The SpaceX Crew Dragon, a spacecraft that has redefined human spaceflight. So what's it really like to ride this cutting-edge vehicle beyond Earth's atmosphere? Buckle up, because today, NASA astronauts are taking us inside the ultimate space experience, only on this episode of TechMap. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. On May 31, 2020, SpaceX's Crew Dragon shattered expectations and made history as the first commercial spacecraft to carry astronauts to and from the International Space Station, ISS. The Crew Dragon's first crewed flight marked a significant milestone, being the first crewed launch from U.S. soil since the space shuttle program ended in 2011. But beyond the headlines and the historical mean, what was it actually like to ride the Dragon into orbit? According to the duo of NASA's astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, the ones who actually rode the Dragon into space, their experience was nothing short of exhilarating. Behnken described the liftoff as surprisingly smooth, at first. But once the Falcon 9's first stage separated, the real thrill ride began. Dragon was huffing and puffing all the way into orbit, he said. We were definitely driving or riding a Dragon all the way up. Unlike the Space Shuttle, which had a powerful yet controlled ascent, Crew Dragon felt alive, shaking, rumbling, and accelerating with intensity. Hurley compared stage separation to a dramatic cinematic moment, reminiscent of Apollo 13. As the first stage engine cut off, the crew suddenly went from three times the normal gravity to no gravity at all. A brief, weightless pause before the Merlin vacuum engine ignited, launching them once again into relentless acceleration. Doug Hurley couldn't contain his excitement as he reflected on the monumental achievement that Dragon had already made. So we have to give credit to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and of course NASA. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. In addition to the two American astronauts, 58-year-old Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi also had the good fortune to be one of the first people to ride on this spacecraft. He is the first person to fly on SpaceX's Crew Dragon for NASA's inaugural Crew-1 mission. The Dragon is the best. I feel Dragon is really ready to go up. It's really fun to ride, and two days in Dragon is really remarkable memories. It's safe to say that Dragon stands out in both modernity and aesthetics. Step through the cabin door, and you're greeted by a sleek, futuristic interior that exudes quiet luxury. The black and white color scheme, reminiscent of high-end minimalist design, sets the stage for an unparalleled space flight. With a spacious 9.3 cubic meter capsule, Dragon comfortably accommodates four astronauts, ensuring they have room to move. Unlike the cramped confines of the Soyuz, which feels more like a spaceborne prison, every detail of Dragon's interior is crafted for both function and elegance from the ergonomically designed seats, built with premium carbon fiber and Alcantara cloth, to the four panoramic windows that offer breathtaking views of Earth, the Moon, and beyond. So from his seat, when he is inside the, in the vehicle, strapped in, this is what his view actually looks like. You can see a, a window off to the one side. We each have a window that we can view out and, and see what's going on outside. But the real magic happens on shorter flights, like the Inspiration4 mission. Imagine this. Instead of a docking port, SpaceX swaps it out for a cupola window, a glass dome that lets you stick your entire head into the void 
witnessing the Earth's breathtaking panorama swirling beneath you. Crew Dragon isn't just a spacecraft, it's a high-tech command center in orbit. Its sleek, futuristic displays provide real-time data on everything from its position in space to onboard conditions and possible destinations. But don't expect a maze of buttons and levers like in the old-school shuttles. Instead, Flying Dragon is more like using an advanced iPad. Its controls are elegantly arrayed across three large touch screens, all fully compatible with the gloves of the sleek SpaceX suits. What's the purpose? It's to make Crew Dragon feel like a 21st century spaceship. In the own words of SpaceX engineer John Fetterspiel, he explains, probably one of the biggest features of Dragon are the touch screens on the inside. We design them not just to be very functional, but with a user experience in mind. Astronauts aren't just along for the ride, but they also don't need to wrestle with the controls unless absolutely necessary. As Doug Hurley, commander of the first crewed Dragon mission in May 2020, put it, and if the automation doesn't take care of a problem, then the ground is your next layer of defense. That's right, SpaceX's ground controllers can troubleshoot and even command the spacecraft from Earth. The astronauts only step in if all else fails, making Crew Dragon one of the most autonomous spacecraft ever built. But Dragon's automation doesn't stop at navigation. The astronauts' suits are seamlessly integrated into the spacecraft's systems via an umbilical cable that connects their seats to their suits, regulating airflow and cooling them automatically. Even the helmets have built-in pressure and temperature sensors, allowing the spacecraft to make micro-adjustments without the astronauts lifting a finger. Need to tweak suit pressure? No manual dials required. Just a tap on the touchscreen. Now, let's talk about something every astronaut fears more than a faulty dashboard. The dreaded need to pee with nowhere to go. Alan Shepard, the first American in space, famously had to relieve himself in his suit during the Mercury mission an experience SpaceX was determined to avoid. That's why Crew Dragon is equipped with a real, vacuum-powered toilet, similar to the one on the ISS. You also do get a curtain for privacy. And where does all the, uh, unpressurized cargo go? Well, here's a fun fact. Dragon's 12-foot-long trunk, which also houses the spacecraft's solar panels, doubles as a storage compartment, not just for equipment, but also for human organic waste. It's a tried and true aerospace tradition. Even on commercial airplanes, waste is funneled to a tank in the rear of the aircraft. So while Dragon may be a cutting edge spacecraft, some things about flying never change. So are the above descriptions enough to make you excited to fly into space on SpaceX's Crew Dragon? Leave Dragon, let's go in the comments section below. So what about the exterior of the spacecraft? The Crew Dragon is composed of a reusable capsule and a disposable trunk. The trunk houses essential components, such as solar panels, a heat dissipation radiator, and fins for stability during emergency aborts. The spacecraft's exterior is equipped with a thermal protection system, including an ablative heat shield at its base and additional protective layers along its sides all designed to endure the extreme heat generated during atmospheric re-entry. This advanced heat shield is the reason why Dragon takes on the appearance of a lovely toasted marshmallow after its fiery descent back to Earth. The base shield gradually burns away as it re-enters the atmosphere, efficiently dissipating heat and safeguarding the vehicle. This process results in a charred, discolored surface, adding to its signature toasted look. As the spacecraft plummets through superheated gases, the intense plasma flow sculpts its exterior, further enhancing the scorched aesthetic. However, in its pristine state, Dragon is the epitome of sleek, modern design. The capsule stands 16 feet tall and 13 feet wide, resting atop the trunk section, which adds an additional 12 feet in length. The trunk not only serves as the spacecraft's main power source, but also functions as a storage bay for unpressurized cargo. Dragon features a mechanical hatch 
at the tip of its nose cone, which can reveal either a docking port or a cupola window, depending on the mission requirements. There is also a side door that allows crew members to board and exit while the capsule is still on Earth. Sporting SpaceX's signature white exterior, Dragon's smooth and minimalist design is interrupted only by a handful of small windows and various thruster ports. In terms of propulsion, the spacecraft is equipped with two distinct types of thrusters. Draco thrusters are arranged in clusters around the capsule with strategically angled nozzles to facilitate maneuvering and altitude adjustments. A total of 16 Draco thrusters enable precise control of the spacecraft's position. Each one is a small yet powerful rocket engine that utilizes hypergolic propellant, a type of fuel that ignites instantly upon contact. The Super Dracos, on the other hand, are Dragon's primary engines. These high-thrust rocket engines are discreetly embedded within the four large ridges encircling the capsule, with two engines housed in each ridge. Producing roughly 200 times the power of the Draco maneuvering thrusters, Super Dracos provide finely tuned throttling capabilities. By now, you might be wondering, who are the masterminds shaping the cutting-edge design of SpaceX's Crew Dragon? The answer isn't just one person, but a powerhouse team of engineers, software developers, and designers working together at SpaceX. Among them is John Federspiel, a lead engineer who played a crucial role in crafting the spacecraft's sleek, modern interface, including its futuristic touchscreen controls. But the expertise doesn't stop there. Garrett Reisman, a NASA veteran who flew on all three space shuttles and completed two missions to the ISS, brought invaluable experience to SpaceX after leaving NASA in 2011. As the director of space operations, he was instrumental in developing Crew Dragon into a human-rated spacecraft. And when it comes to the user experience inside the capsule, Shane Milkey, a principal UI UX designer, worked hand-in-hand -hand with software and operations engineers, alongside NASA astronauts, to create a seamless, intuitive display system. Speaking of astronauts, Crew Dragon wouldn't be the same without the direct input of those who would actually fly it. Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken, NASA astronauts, played a critical role in refining the spacecraft's design to meet real-world operational needs. All of this innovation was born out of NASA's commercial crew program, a groundbreaking partnership that helped turn Crew Dragon from a concept into reality. The collaboration between SpaceX and NASA isn't just important, it's the very foundation of Crew Dragon's existence. So while Elon Musk may be the face of SpaceX, the real magic happens behind the scenes, where top-tier engineers, astronauts, and designers are revolutionizing human spaceflight.